All right, let's get y'all caught up. Got the uh, duct work roughed in, all the flex line run, everything's ready. So they're roughed in and ready. Oh, I've been working on the plumbing. Well, I've been working on beam placement right now. That's what that's gonna be right there. And we'll have three beams running through the center of this living room and kitchen area. And uh, I've just been putting something in there so I can, you know, after they hang the rock, I can just, uh, probably gonna be false beams, just gonna wrap those, you know, got those exposed two before. So they're just gonna sheet rock between those right there, if that makes any sense and float that out and then I'll just wrap those uh, two befores. I've still got to run the ones through the center on the top on every one of them, across that, across that flat spot at the top. But uh, coming on with it pretty good. Started, you know, the old boy started uh, nailing up the boxes and I've been roughing in the plumbing. Oh, let me go take y'all on the house real quick, show you that right there. It's been a raining nasty mess, let me tell you, terrible. And y'all excuse the mess. Water line right here, I got to trench it in. One inch pex all the way to the road, all the way to the meter out there. I still got to uh, bury that bad boy, but I wanted to pressurize everything before anybody did anything. That way if some water started hitting the ground, we knew we had a problem. Oh, plumbing got the trunk line run, got all the pecs run under here. Everything's nailed up, looks so, uh, you know, got it looking good. Oh, Let's see, somebody's going to say something, probably wondering about the traps being under the house and them freezing. Oh, down here, folks, it does not get cold enough, especially under here. It's warm under here right now, and it's probably in the 40s outside right now. So the traps, you don't have to worry about those, so, you know, those bust, freezing and busting, not down here. Anyhow, I thought I'd get y'all caught up. That's what I'm working on now. Appreciate y'all. All right, here we go, folks. Let's finish up this video. Got the uh, all the wirings roughed in, other than the supply coming into the big box back here in the in the mud room. Oh, huge ceiling fan right in the middle with the windmill blades. I don't know if y'all seen them, but they're beautiful. Eight can lights in the ceiling between these beams right here. These beams will be oh, uh, you can see those two befores are gonna rock drywall between the between those two befores right there, and then I'm gonna wrap those oh. Uh, those beams with one by sixes and then cap the bottom with a one by six. So it would look like a six inch beam up there, but it'll be false. But like I said, big ceiling fan in the middle, oh, eight canister lights, well, they're the LED can lights, oh, hanging light over the kitchen sink right there, hanging light over the dining room table right there. Oh, ceiling fans in all the bedrooms, Two ceiling fans on the front porch, two ceiling fans on the back porch. I've already got all of that stuff roughed in and ready to go. Oh, three outlets on the outside of the porch, you know, on the porch out there, and then two on the front. Everything's looking really good. I'm three weeks out on a little spray foam, and then I don't know about the drywall. So in those three weeks, I'm gonna go to, uh, I'm probably gonna head to North Alabama and build a little A-frame cabin up there on a lot we got on the river. So I'll keep y'all caught up on that right there. Anyway, hope y'all enjoying the videos. Appreciate y'all.